So what's the magic number for humans when talking about our chromosome numbers? You should know this, it is 46. 46 means I have 46 chromosomes in every single one of my body cells. That 46 number actually is made up of 23 from my dad and 23 from my mom. When a sperm and egg cell combined, they need to be haploid, so when they join together, it creates a diploid number. So 46 is the number for humans. So it turns out uh, we call that the diploid number. For chimpanzees, that number is 48. For dogs, it's 78. You can already see here that the number doesn't necessarily have to get bigger as the organism becomes more complex. I think my brain is slightly more complex than a dog. Uh, I know a few people who would probably disagree with that, but there are some questions that come up, but this answers one of them. Do more chromosomes actually mean greater complexity? So there are different types of things. So what kinds of Genetics related things vary between organisms. The list is endless, but there are three that might sound like they're the same thing. So we really have to really distinguish between them. And I think there will be three separate videos about these three different things that are separated uh, through the genetics units of the actual syllabus. But the size of the genome is one thing, and that's the number, the total amount of DNA, the number of base pairs that exists in one particular cell for a particular organism. The number of genes, which is different, the number of genes, remember all your DNA is not genes. A lot of that stuff is non-coding DNA. Only the coding DNA is considered genes. So the number of genes can vary, and there's a strong correlation, a positive correlation between these two sizes, but there are some exceptions. And then what we're looking at today, right here on this video, is how the number of chromosomes can actually vary as well to the diploid chromosome number to be specific. The chromosome number is usually a pretty strong and unwavering characteristic of a species. So the human number is 46. There are other organisms out there. If you do a Wikipedia search for chromosome numbers, you'll see that there are other organisms out there that do have 46, but the sizes of those chromosomes are actually important. The content of those genes is important as well, too. So it's not a you know guaranteed ID number for a, a identifying a human, for example. Uh, the diploid number, like I said, all my body cells are the diploid number. Only in sperm cells and egg cells would you have haploid numbers where you have to have half. And it's a consequence of sexual reproduction. Because we reproduce sexually, the only th way that we can possibly do that is by splitting our chromosomes in half when we're making cells that are supposed to join up, when sperm cells and egg cells have to fuse together. That's how it basically works out. So comparing other diploid chromosome numbers, I don't think you need to memorize a few of these, but if you start with, you know, human chimpanzee dog, HCD, I don't know, these are my, th if, if I had to form a trio, you know, my compadres who would go around with me to take over the world, it would be a chimpanzee on my left and a dog on my right. This guy could help me figure out things when I'm down. This one would just, you know, keep me happy and safe. But I'm scared of big dogs, small dog. Humans, 46, chimpanzee, 48, dog, 78, rice, 24. I don't know if you ever thought about that when you're eating your rice, that you're actually eating chromosomes inside the rice. How cool is that? Uh, horse, threadworm, that's pretty gross only four chromosomes, and I totally spelled this wrong, and I didn't check it. My apologies. I'm horrible. This should say grape, I think. What else could this be? I think it must be a grape. So grapes, 90, way more than us. Does that mean they're actually, you know, secret thinking little fruits that are taking over the world? No, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that they happen to have 90 chromosomes. That's her diploid number. So go grapes. I got to fix that.